mentioned about your mom, and uh, again, and one thing I think is really neat, like what would you say your mom really did, I think, to stick those values in you that, that seemed that really... Discipline? I don't know. <laughs> um, I don't know. I mean, she just, she just every time would just, being a teacher and, and being yeah. good to other people and, mm -hmm. you know, we didn't have a, a lot of money as a family growing up and racing, like I said, is so expensive and, you know, I have the one story that will always float in the back of my mind when uh, I was like, I don't know, even middle school age or something like that and we went to Goodwill because, you know, we bought used clothes to be able to buy titanium bolts. How messed <laughs> up is that? Um, people don't really understand that unless they're... <laughs> Pin racing somewhat, but you know, it, it's we wanted to buy the best parts for the car, so we made do in other areas. So I got this pair of guest jeans, and Linda's heard this story before. And this guest jeans, and I don't middle school, and I wear them to school. And this one of the head cheerleader types um, asked me, well, "Where'd you get those jeans?" Because she kind of knew everybody, sort of knew what I did and how, and all. You know, we're small family. My mom's a teacher. My dad's an engineer. And I, I so I lied. <laughs> I said. Sears, and that's not where you get them. <laughs> I didn't know, you know, I was just in middle school, but I had the best go-kart in the world. Um, and she laughed, and they made fun of me, and it's the same group of kids that would make fun of people's acne. And I think that feeling that I had, I will never forget that. And I do not want any of my fans or anybody who comes to an IndyCar race to ever feel that way. And I, it's just that, you know, having that yeah. type of experience. and. It, um, I think that's why I'm so good to my fans because I, I recognize that you know people sacrifice on some areas to be able to be successful in others, and you know just because they're a fan doesn't mean that they don't have something great going on in their own individual life.